Cool. Um, hello everybody, it's Matt here, and my order from Blizzard has actually arrived now. Um, so I placed this last week, pretty much on the day of Bastion's announcement. Um, well, actually it was a couple of hours after the announcement. Um, I didn't know anything about it until I got home. Um, and checked my Discord, I'm on, and it's sort of like, oh, Lego Bastion's here. Wait, what? Um, and I thought, so I placed an order. Um, to maximise uh, sort of like the cost of postage, I actually bought a t-shirt as well. So it's not just Lego in this box. Um, and here is a very paperwork. So I'll take that out. And my dress is actually on that label, which is why it's not there. But um, there you go. So that's what's in the parcel. Uh, we have the Overwatch logo. Uh, t black t-shirt and then the Lego Bastion uh, it says Blizzard exclusive there BZEXCL so that's the real thing and here we go so let's do the box open so we have one Blizzard men's XL t-shirt so literally that's the description the, just the logo and then we have Lego Bastion so, I'm going to take the box out of the picture now. And let's take a look at the box first of all. So, we have the box here, and it's quite clear it says it's 180 pieces. We have the exclusive tile, um, and then you've got all the different languages there saying building toy. Um, and you've got your end box there with the legal blurb, a action shot of Bastion there, and then we've got a, another uh, section of legal bit here that's actually there we go yeah so it actually says you want to mean denmark uh hungary mexico china and the usa and czech republic and then it's just in different languages and then it says just region uk you know us or blah 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 and then there's some um, uh description there so it's, i think it just says it's not for ages zero to three or something like that um so let's open it up so there's only one little tab here and get push like that and there is a way of opening these up, so what you do is <clears throat> open the cardboard like that, actually tear there, tear there, and you kind of have that uh, to deal with later on, but I'm not too bothered. So we have one bag. Okay, so in total we have three bags and a stick sheet instruction book. So that's the box empty. So we'll take that out of the question now. Right, so we have one instruction book which has the sort of the main set picture on it and Bastion shooting. Um, not a lot to see. The, the, apparently somebody's already got this and it doesn't actually say, show anything. So we have sort of the back image of Bastion and there he is. So, nothing to be seen there. Um, so, yeah, so let's go on with the set building. So, we have three bags here. We have a reasonably large bag, and then we have two smaller ones. Um, there's no printing in the set, it's just these stickers, um, which I kind of expected uh, because on the instructions you sort of see there that it's not an orange print with some grey sticker on it, it's actually a grey piece, dark bluish grey piece the sticker on it so I knew there were stickers unfortunately I hoped that uh, Blizzard exclusive one would be a um, sort of like a printed tile uh, but it's not so the part number for this is uh, 49590 uh, 6254263 so if I can refocus the camera which I don't so there are the stickers themselves. Um, so I'll now let it refocus on set. Um, so yeah, let's start opening up and start building. Um, so you actually build the entire thing in one go. So there's the sort of instructions. So I'm going to open up these bags. And I've very graciously decided to give myself some assistance with these little glass little tubs. So I can open it up. There 
we go. And so we have two tubs and box of bits. So I'm going to open these up, but then these will have to just fit in the corner there. So there we go. So take those out of the question, and we're now ready to begin. Hi, James. Um, so we have the large bag here, and then the two smaller bags here in the little tubs. Um, so the first step is to find the pieces I need, and I'm looking for a inverted tile. So I'd imagine that after everything, it's probably going to be in here. Um, to be black. I'm looking for. Yep, there we go. So it actually starts off with one of these pieces. This is actually a inverted two by two tile uh, with studs showing. So it actually starts off with one of those. So it looks like you're actually starting to build Bastion's main base uh, up. So I think it's this one. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Um, yeah, once again, they're actually in the main bag. So follow with that. So we have there you go, there's the start. And we have two Technic bricks, which are in here, because I've just seen them. One of those. And that goes there. And yeah, use that and that. So this is an interesting thing. We're already onto snot. So the instructions actually to swap that over and do that. So uh, that is it for now. So that's actually one assembly, and that actually goes off to a size. I'll put that there. Out the way, and we're now actually starting to do work on the body. We're already on step eight, and we've already just created a sub assembly, so looks good so far. The instructions don't actually have much in the way of um, sort of many elements per them. Oh, that's an interesting piece. Um, we have some gold bars, but I did just see a handbar piece, where was it? No, nope. that's been in my imagination. Put those there. It's actually in here, I think. No. Is it in here? Or I just completely missed a piece. No, there we go. There it is. Uh, this looks to be a metallic silver uh, handrail piece, which isn't very uh, common. Um, what I'm looking for is actually an axle one by two brick or a technic brick, and there goes one of the barrel. There goes a barrel, so it's not there. Um, it's not there. Hmm. There's the barrel that's escaped. So, am I going completely stupid? There it is. So it wasn't it's just hard to find. Right, and then we have. Two one by two plates in grey, which are in here. Just go there. Then we have one of those, one of those, like that. And one of those. Bring it up to the spec. It's not there, it's the other one. Bring it all together. Um, Thank you. 
Here's the. Another two like that. Yeah, you're using that. And like three. Ah. This is quite clearly a fairly recent set because it includes two of these new bracket pieces that were introduced with the Ninjago City docks, which are the wanted wide and then one down bracket. So that's a interesting part to see in this set. So clearly this is a fairly recently designed set to include those pieces. Um, so in actual fact, uh, so say hello to Bastion's body, or at least the start of it at least. Um, so I'm looking for some more ones, which have probably been here. Yeah, just a slight room here, so we have one of those, one of those. Okay, and that, and then one of those. So, Complete, then take it that way and put the shield on. So, yes, again, another one of these new Star Wars shield pieces. Uh, this is in it's not dark red, I want to say. Um, actually, it might be. Yeah, actually, it is dark red. So, give my stupidity. Um, and that just actually attaches to the back. So, this is actually step 21 touching the shield. So, we're already 21 steps in. And this is how far we've got. We've got this piece, and we've got that, and we've got a, a load to go. Um, so that actually asks you to turn it like that. That's another thing as well. The instructions actually have you turning uh, assemblies as a step itself. So not every step actually has pieces going into the model. Uh, and you actually put this on here. So, ah, so that's actually body and your hips for Bastion, so that's how we can actually rotate. So that's actually a fairly nice technique, because um, you get this nice disc to give you a bit of pointer to where the um, sort of rotation is, so it almost acts like a bit like a turntable. Um, yeah, that's actually quite a nice technique. Right, and um, we're actually assembling the head next. Um, so for that I will need the build your own gun. And I'll need uh, one of the one by two tiles, which are here. And then the that. And close that. Um, so these actually use the metallicized silver uh, ingots as well. So let's see there. Um, I should just have. This trans red one by one, but it's not in that one, so it should be this one. Uh, yeah, there we go. And then that goes on like that, and we should have. There it is. So this is another interesting technique. It actually uses the uh, three mil bar with the ball end. It actually goes into the rear one uh, of this sort of like build your own gun. So if I take this off, you'll see what I mean. And that just goes on there. And then that actually just snaps on like that. 
and then that's his actual head assembled. So you get this nice sort of ball joint action to give him all those expressions. So there we are so far. So we have the body and the head. Let's look at the next page. Ah, we actually start on his legs. And his legs actually start off with another new piece for 2018, I believe. The one by two rounded plate with uh, holes in the studs. So again, yeah, this looks to be a, a fairly new piece. I don't actually think I've come across it uh, as of yet uh, in terms of general use, but unless it's uh, interesting to see pass in these builds. In like that, like that, and have a one by one there, like that, and then like that. There we have all these. So one, two. Yeah, one there. So there we go. Uh, that most of the leg is involved. And then we take some bars and go one on there, another one on there. And actually put this on and use two of the bars. So and that's connecting like so and we're actually using uh, we're using I hope you've got that one yep uh, the new sort of or reasonably new uh, two by two plate with a notch corner uh, so you've got a corner cut out, so there's a 45 well, degree angle. And then they've actually just layered it with one of these new tiles, um, which I think is a new part in orange. Um, bring it me wrong, I like have been several times. Uh, so it goes like that, and then you actually just attach another one like that to get uh, that sort of effect. And then there should, well, actually, that's it. So do that and then we actually start building a foot. Let's take one of these, take one of these and put that on there. Then put another one. And then you do the big one of those. One of those. So and you actually fit another one of these toe ball joints like that. Another foot. So it goes like that. And then that. It's actually like that. And then there you go. That's what we got bastion so far. And we're up to step. 38 in the instructions, so uh, going good so far. Flip the page, and it says to stand him up. I don't think he's going, quite going to stand in his current form, uh, so we're actually building the next leg. So I'll get on with building that next. Uh, so 
we'll take out the uh, the pearl silver what they are gold bars because uh, I know what they're used for and I can take out both of the new pieces like that be enough so have one of those because I've already got one leg oh, I should be a little faster there you go, keys there. I'm still trying to find parts after all. So we have two viewers so far. Um, I imagine that's probably because I need to, or would be better if I'd actually set this uh, to record live streaming off my computer. It's actually live streaming off my phone right now. Um, so it's plenty of action, don't get me wrong. It's on it was on 30, up, th up 39 percent, something like that. So it's fine for this stream. Um, no, 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 no. So this is an interesting sort of technique that they're doing in the instruction. They're actually doing a sub-assembly for the legs and then just combining them, um, which kind of makes sense because it saves. Oh, I'm doing quite complex instructions. Um, but at the same time, it's a little odd to find when they have um, specific instructions just for you know, turning the model around. Uh, whereas normally that's just actually just part and parcel of the normal uh, Lego instructions. So it does drop me as a little odd, but then again, uh, this is Lego. And it could be that Blizzard have sort of specified that they should use that sort of technique. So who knows? Uh, so that goes on there, and we just need another one by two. Not there, there we go. So, do that. Then, that goes there, that goes there. And we start the whole process again. So, one there, one there. And like that and then where are we? that goes that way like that I'm missing that which goes there and then it's actually just time to start up again so one of those and one of those make sure that one more yeah, Pretty much have done base of him. So there's Just go through like that. And then that goes in like that. And then hey presto. Bastion has legs. So those should go like that. And there we are, an armless bastion is now standing up. So, there we have him. Um, it's actually now time to start on the gun arm. So, take the one by four. And the gun. And then, shooter. So, there we go. And we just use a hinge. Along with one of the pieces, and so we're currently looking like that. And then we take one of the big bracket pieces, 
and put on like that, and one by one, and then the table, just one here, and we have another bench, like that, and then one by one, which fits there. And there should be, and we find that, yep, so that goes, yep, one second, one of those, which goes there, there. Like that, and That looks good too slow. Alright, so the silver. Like that. Ah, and this is an interesting uh, use of parts as well. Um, so this is Bastion's main, uh, or sort of like the little light gun uh, for when he's in uh, sort of like walking mode. And that actually flips around the other way. Uh, like that, so that's his sort of like shoot, uh, sort of like minigun arm. Um, I'm actually using uh, the bucket handle uh, there as uh, sort of like a bit of like mechanism or reinforcement. Um, oh, that should actually be there. There you go, fixed it, so it should actually be there. Um, and we're using. One of these. So we're actually using both uh, sorts of the new one uh, by one bracket piece, uh, just like that. And that actually uses one of those and a clip. There we go. Like that. And that fits in there. And this fits on. Like so. Actually, let's see if we can see what we're missing it. That goes on there. There we go. And now he's got his arm. So now we just need to do the other arm. And this actually has the sort of protection on it. So. Ah no, this is actually just his arm, piece of armour, his side. Uh, so that goes on there, that goes on there, that goes on there. And we're applying the first of the sticker sheet. So there's only three stickers, but nonetheless, it's a sticker. So, second of all, they're actually the pretty, yeah, they're actually the same sticker. Um, so it's not that. Oh, to assemble actually. This is where my perfectionist instincts kick in. So, let's keep doing it this way. There we go. There we go, look at that. Nice and clean. Right, and then that actually goes that way. And then you actually flip this over. And that, that does not unless. So no, that goes on. No, that definitely says that. So. Yep, there you go. There you go. So that's his, his left arm now complete because it's even got the armour panel on it. Right, time to be in the other arm. So we're most of the way through the set now. Um, so there's not going to be too much left of them, I'm going to be brutally honest. Um, so we have the other arm. This is actually ridiculously smaller in comparison. And we have press my hand and the gold bar. Uh, 
that and then we have another one there another one for load hmm. Yep, so that's now complete. So that actually goes on him like that. Just tip back now. There we go. Those tools again for another the stickering. Those and hmm, let's go a bit. Oh, there it is. That. So I'm going to take off this other sticker, put this on, and there we go. So that's the other side of the armor complete. I can now put that on and and over like that, so there we go. There's Bastion with both arms done, and now we're actually come to the cannon. So, we're actually on step 81, and uh, we're onto the cannon. So, it'll be kind of interesting to see how this was going to be built. Um, uh, this is all the barrel piece, so it's oh, nice to see this piece being reused again. And we have another one of those. Ultra short uh, ones here. Uh, we need this and this. So let's actually use these two arms like that. And that in there. Oh, like that way. And So there we go, and then that clips in like that, and that is how your uh, gun attaches, just these two clips um, to the base. So that's why you actually have the shield at the back, it's actually a cunning design to actually put the gun on, like that. So well, weirdly, I don't get what that's for, but never mind. Ah, I'm a cartridge. Uh, so you need that, and that, that underneath, and we should have a 2x2 two two round tile, which is I've just seen, which is in this tub here, like that. And that actually fits onto the side there, like that, and then that's his. Oop. It's a main gun. Same board. Let me actually build the base. So we really are on the home stretch. There's a bit. I think there's gonna be there's gonna be the base and then uh this version of Ganymede uh to do and then I think that'll be it. So that goes. Oh, 
like that. And we have that. And that one there. Then there. And there. Goes on there, and the tile. So I'll just do that now. There we go. And then, actually now time to rotate his feet, so sort of anchors, stick those into the base, so one goes in there, and there, this little bastion. So the only thing left is Ganymede, or at least this version of Ganymede. Uh, so there's not a lot left. There's not a lot to him, to be honest. I expected maybe a bit more, but never mind. Uh, let's see if we could. And then there we go. So just like that. He's actually complete. Um, with his ammo. So weirdly. His ammo is actually these one by one translucent yellow uh, pieces. Now in the game, they're actually sort of like more of a like a translucent like translucent blue. So there you go. There's his gun armed. And there's a little bastion. So that is it. And we've come to the end of the instructions. So yeah, they've just been flashed at least 15%. So um, all right, MNKO, it does not transform. Um, the legs are actually fixed in place. Um, so aside from posing, you can't actually do anything. Um, it does, I suppose you could kind of say it transforms because it has got the flexibility. Um, but the, the way it actually works in game, um, it's actually restricted by the armor panels. So I suppose, kind of transforms if you kind of do it like that but then the armor doesn't work and it does doesn't actually work that well at all so it's effectively just a display piece um with some shooting with the uh, firing uh, guns on the side so unfortunately no it does not transform um to be honest i didn't expect it to transform uh to be honest because it's just such a small size um if it was more of a sort of like construction-y sort of size one um, I'd imagine it would, um, but uh, there he is. So there's uh, Bastion himself uh, in the Omnic colours. Um, so we have just three stickers for the set. So we have the uh, one on the base there, and then you have the uh, shoulder pads, like the arm, which are actually armour, uh, but they're actually just the same sticker. Um, and obviously he can rotate round uh, the feet and the. Uh, hips are actually on ball joints, so you can actually sort of move him forward and backwards. Um, he has actually little um, pegs, so I'll just take this off uh, in his sort of in his feet assemblies, uh, which actually interact with uh, Technic bricks in the base. So that's how he works. Um, 
the gun does actually sort of like move around a bit, which is fairly reasonable. Um, and obviously you can actually move his arm about. So if I take the bird off, and then you can actually have him actually pose and looking at the bird like that. So you can actually be admiring his uh, current feathered friend, just like that. Um, so I suppose the other thing I need, really need to talk about is spares, because there's an awful lot of them. Um, obviously we've had, obviously in this set there's about two bags worth of spares. So I'll just put him back on, yep, like that. Um, so from one of the bags, obviously you, you've you also got the uh, spares for the firing gun, but you've got a translucent one by one tile. Um, I'll actually pull these into my hand now. So we've got a translucent one by one uh, red tile. Um, you actually only have two of the ammunition, so uh, that one's actually a spare, so I'll put that to the side there. Um, so you also have red cheese slope, one by one in orange, one by one round plate in translucent yellow, a tan cheese slope, uh, just the one one by one variety, um, a one by one round tile uh, in red, one by one round plate in black, and then we actually have one of these one by one rounds uh, with the uh, hole in the stud. And then in the other back, we have one of the miniature droid arms, one of the uh, bucket holders, uh, one of the Technic pegs uh, for the gun, um, another of the firing uh, mechanisms for the cat, uh, for the little light gun, uh, and one of the one by one in dark blue grey cheese slopes, a one by one round tile in orange, and then we have one of these modified, Brooklyn calls them modified bar pieces with a stall on the end. I prefer the other way around, so it's a one by one uh, rounded plate with a bar attachment. Um, but this is actually a shorter one. Um, I think there's actually longer ones as well. Um, so yeah, I should combine those together now, like that. So there you have it. Um, I'll now just check uh, the chat. Um, So, for the scale, it's pretty impressive. Um, yes, it actually is. Um, it's got quite a lot of features built into it uh, for this size. Um, and it is a, an expensive set, don't get me wrong. Um, but I think because of all the licensing, um, the limited availability, limited running, etc., I actually think it's reason reasonably worth the money. Obviously, it's not into scale with anything else. Um, I mean, to put it in perspective, uh, we know we're getting a tracer figure. Um, so, tracer's actually in proper form, so I'll just uh, move it out of sight a second. Um, but I have Ruth May, and some of you may recognise him. It's actually uh, one of the CMFs, it's actually the sort of like caretaker. And yeah. To scale is uh, not is not true in the slightest um, because Bastion's actually fairly large uh, as a character. He's fairly large, um, but nonetheless, he's sort of the height. I said he's sort of shorter than Reinhardt, uh, but still above average compared to the other characters. So you can sort of see this is supposed to be Tracer. Tracer's supposed to come roughly just below his head, I think, in terms of height. So you can sort of say it's clearly not uh, scale sized. If they do any more, um, I wouldn't be surprised. I to be honest, it wouldn't surprise me if they actually did a Reinhardt to actually complement uh, the Bastion in the future. Um, because this is a set we've not been made aware of before it was actually released. Um, so, you know, it would not surprise me if we suddenly had at Christmas time, magically, a version of Reinhardt um, actually coming out in a similar sort of thing as they had, sort of like your Bastion unit uh, from the Omnic War, and then you had uh, little Reinhardt uh, as well to represent the uh, Unknown Glory short term. But that's it for this live stream. Um, it's I've been streaming for 45 minutes 42 seconds. Um, 
mouth's getting a bit dry so i'm going to go off and have a drink um if you've got any questions leave them uh in the chat um or as a comment uh, on the live stream after it's finished uh, and i'll reply to you then um so that's it from this live stream and uh, you know uh, stay tuned to the channel because there's uh, more content coming up uh very soon i've got a few things planned so uh that's it and uh see you later